Good morning. It's uh, Monday morning. Welcome to Morning Love, your daily dose of love, hope, and encouragement from here at Buckwheat Farms Magic Emporium in Baldwin. Uh, it was a busy weekend, and uh, you know, last week I had talked about, and often I talk about, how the uh, physical is just a manifestation of, of the spiritual, and that everything that we need is at hand. We just need to open our eyes. And I had a perfect illustration of that this weekend. Uh, I was figuring some stuff out around here. Uh, we'll go outside and uh, talk about it. Okay, on a, uh, on a small farm like this, uh, we only have half, a, half an acre, and uh, we're trying to raise livestock. And one of the, the issues there is enough food uh, to generate your livestock so that you're not having to buy food all the time because that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, and doesn't doesn't go along with the whole permaculture nature thing. So I've done a few things. I've planted up some food plots with uh, amaranth. And uh, for your information, uh, the amaranth leaves uh, are similar to spinach. The amaranth nuts themselves have a nutty, sweet flavor. So uh, that the amaranth seed, as you'd say. Anyway, uh, we've done that. Uh, I, I, you know, the plantings and everything. But, but still. Uh, during the off seasons, there's uh, there's supplements that are needed. Uh, I have pigs now and chickens, and I want to add goats and sheep. So I've done. Let me turn this around, and uh, I've set up uh, a few trays here with. Uh, let me open one of these up and see. This is. Uh, I'm recycling everything, of course, and uh, these are uh, oh, oh, wheat wheat seeds, uh, wheat grass seeds. And uh, I've uh, soaked a um, hemp mat. Uh, you can also make a uh, slurry of, um, of cocoa core and uh, perlite uh, to put your seeds on and then uh, cover them up. And I've got them in the greenhouse here. I've also got uh, some uh, alfalfa sprouts as well in my, uh, in my regular grower. But, uh, but yesterday, while I'm out in the yard, I'm thinking, uh, gosh, what, what else can I, what else do I need to do to, to work, you know, to get my animals some food? I want to make sure my animals are well fed. And uh, lo and behold, I remembered that uh, my little piggies back in the early, early, early part of spring when the, my mulberry tree started uh, to, uh, to get leaves, they were uh, getting the lower limbs and eating the leaves. And uh, so I cut the mulberry, and let me turn this around here. This is the mulberry tree here that I have. Now it's interesting, this is a miraculous mulberry tree in that uh, it was nothing but just a stump. My uh, cousin, who is an, a trained arborist, had come in, it was terrible, the tree was terrible. It was da uh, damaged, it was a disease. And uh, he said the best thing to do is cut it down. So we cut it down to a stump. And now you can see it is uh, probably about 30 feet tall now. And, uh, but the pigs love the mulberry leaves. And uh, so I did a little research on them. And mulberry is a great supplemental uh, feed for, uh, for not only pigs, but goats and, and uh, sheep as well, providing uh, protein. And uh, especially for the pigs, it'll cause some uh, some really good uh, fat to build up around the muscle, uh, which is which is called marbling, which will make the meat even better. Uh, but the the whole thing is this mulberry tree, and here it is I've been working over trying to get make sure I keep them well fed and everything, and here it is right here. Nature has provided everything that you need is provided. Everything that you need is at hand. We just need to open our eyes and find it. Namaste.